Do you want to join the SW City server? Do you want to know why I do YouTube? Well, find out all this and more on this week's episode of SW City. Hey everybody, this is SW Chris. I am from SW City, and we are on the SW City server tonight. Um, today is going to be a bit of a build and talk episode. Um, I'm going to build something really simple because I have some stuff on my mind that I want to get off of it, get off my chest to mix the metaphor. Um, you should also know it's about 11.30 at night, um, the night before you're seeing this. Which is why I may be a little slow on the uptake, but I apologize in advance. So, uh, the first thing we're going to start building today, um, and this will probably take most of the episode, is our swimming pool for my base. So this is going to be an outdoor swimming pool, and it's going to be kind of an infinity pool. So it's going to go right up to the edge, and instead of spilling over, because that doesn't really look good um, at this one meter scale... Uh, we're going to use ice blocks for glass and give it kind of a uh, kind of an icy kind of effect. So uh, what I need to do is actually drop down here and start up with the making the border. So while I do that, I'm going to talk to you about uh, rules for joining the server. Um, we met last week and we came up with some rules. And basically, what it's going to come down to is um, we do want a certain quality of, of YouTuber um, to join the server with us. Um, they, they have to be video game centric. Um, we want people that have at least 10 videos. Um, and they, those videos do need to be somewhat consistently released. You don't have to be exactly weekly. But it is helpful if you um, do release weekly. I mean, it just is. So, what does that mean uh, for you guys? Well, I, I know I've been getting a lot of questions about it, about joining the server. And so, I mean, that's why we're kind of clarifying the rules here. Um, what we do want to avoid in, in, in new members is, you know, not just inviting people just because they're, you know, personal friends. Um, we also don't want people who are basically glory hounds. Um, people who, uh, you know, they kind of give you the feeling of a used car salesman when they are promoting their channel. It's a little off-putting, to be honest. Um, you know, people who bug you a lot uh, asking you to watch their videos. I mean, if your content's good, the views are going to come. I mean, that, that's basically the, the case. Um, we also are probably not going to be inviting people onto the server who uh, use a lot of screaming as kind of a, a comedy thing. Um, it's, you know, Fred Figglehorn, you know, Annoying Orange, that kind of thing. It's it's a little, little hard to stomach. Um, but... What we want in new viewers, I, I'm sorry, new users, new members on our server are, you know, people who edit their videos, people who are serious about um, doing some branding of themselves on YouTube. Let's see, how far out am I doing here? Let me count this really quick. So one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, I went too far. Okay, so... Uh, people who are, you know, have an awareness of branding, basically. Um, we want people who... Um, let me uh, switch my picture a bit. Okay. People... So we want people who edit videos, people who try to stand out in some way, but not in that kind of annoying way I was telling you about. Uh, 
you know, some awareness of branding, so they should probably have a name that jumps out at you. Um, decent audio quality is a very important thing. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like, I understand a lot of people are doing this uh, with other people in their home. Uh, it can get really, really difficult sometimes to uh, find a quiet environment. So, we understand that. Um, we also want a range of ages, uh, a range of ages um, and uh, decent representation of women. You know, we want to get women in on the ground floor, um, women YouTubers who are into Minecraft. Um, you know, if you if you're one of those, uh, send us a send me a private message on YouTube, and we will be happy to uh, look at you and invite you on, and uh, you know, play with you a little bit. Um, just to kind of gauge um, whether you, you'd be a good fit for our culture. Um, so we are looking for people to join our server, and if you're interested, um, send me a private message if you fit those criteria. Um, if, you, uh, if you're interested, um, we'll set up a collab with you just to kind of see if you're a good fit with uh, everybody else who is uh, currently uh, on the server. Um, and I think that that pretty much does it for joining the server. Now, I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here. Okay. So, there's a, I, I thought I'd go into, um, a little bit about myself. Um, the reason being is, what the heck? Oh, the torch. The evil torch. Okay. The reason being is, um... Well, let's, uh, let's make this short story into a longer one. Uh, that's, that's pretty important to do. So, we'll, we'll do it the long way around. And I'm gonna kind of start at the beginning. So, I'm 31 years old. I'm, uh, I'm from Kansas originally. So, I actually grew up in a small town. Uh, my school um, had uh, 200 students in it at any given time, and not much more than that. Let's see here. And so everybody kind of knew everybody, and it was a little, how you'd say, well, there's no privacy, you know. <laughs> you know, that's, that's kind of how it goes. Um, and so I grew up in that environment. I went to elementary school and I think like a lot of you guys watching and a lot of people who do YouTube, um, when I got into middle school, I started getting bullied and yeah, it's going to be one of those stories, but you know, these are valuable stories. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's right. Okay. You know, it's, um... Oh, why am I using my silk touch pick for this? Jeez. Because it's diamond. It goes faster. So, I, can, I remember the inciting incident pretty much like it was yesterday. Um, so, it was sixth grade. I was, uh... In my sixth grade class, we had 30 kids in there, maybe actually probably 15 at that time, because our classes were split into two groups. And we were uh, in English and doing uh, the Shakespeare unit. So our teacher, Mrs. Cole, uh, she actually, you know, went the whole Shakespeare route. Uh, she showed the film Much Ado About Nothing. It's not the newer one. It's uh, the one from the 90s or the 80s. I'm not sure when it was made. And uh, after that, we decided, she decided that we would make our own place. So we were, she divided the class into two groups, and we were going to each do uh, either a tragedy or a comedy. And so I got um, assigned to the tragedy group. But I was much more interested in playing the comedy. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just put it that way. So, um, me and this one other guy, uh, were cast as, um, poor beggars. And since we had a hand in writing the, 
uh, the play, um, we got to define our own characters a little bit. And uh, one of the characters was uh, was my character, and he was deaf and dumb and mute and got accused of stealing a loaf of bread or something like that. Details aren't really important. Uh, but let's see. Let's go this way. What is important is I got a little carried away with the comedy aspect. Um, the guy that I was that was also a beggar with me was a, was his character was had the speaking part and be, because I was mute, obviously my character was. Um, and so I kind of played it kind of slapstick, and I started. I, I inadvertently discovered method acting in that um, I played the part even when we weren't practicing outside of school and outside of class. And I annoyed this guy like crazy, like uh, drove him absolutely bonkers. And what it ended up doing was earning me an enemy for uh, four, or four or so years, I think. You know, we were kind of friends until then. And then poof. There it goes. Kaboom. There it goes. Gone. And so... Let's see. One, two, three, four. Five. Yep, that's correct. Let me uh, switch pictures here. All right. So... That created four years of absolute torture for me. And... I basically learned to deal with it by withdrawing um, and becoming very good at observing people. Uh, and part of that actually is, is kind of like it has to do with um, uh, Star Wars. Part of it, I got into Star Wars about the time I was getting bullied. And I read about this character named Grand Admiral Thrawn. And he uh, was this master strategist, strategy guy. Let's just let's just call it a strategy guy, and um, he could see things before they happened, uh, just by observing a culture's art. Basically, it was a really kind of a neat gimmick. And so, what ended up happening? Oh, pop that out. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Yep, I think that's about right. Okay. So what ended up happening is I got very good at reading people's moods just by emulating this character I read about in Star Wars. And uh, I learned how to lay low and how to withdraw from the world. And, uh, you know, it, it was um, just not a happy time, to, to put it mildly. Um, I think I, it's, things started getting better my sophomore year of high school. Um, but really, it took me until my uh, late 20s, maybe up until last year, to kind of realize that it's okay to kind of come out and, uh, you know, tell people who you really are. And, and by who you really are, I, I don't mean any of this pop psychology junk about, um, you know, accepting yourself or flaws and all. I mean, yes, you have to accept yourself, but it's really kind of weird how people can abuse that concept um, <clears throat> in, in demand of other people. Excuse me. I'm a bit of a parched throat here. Okay, as I was saying, it's really interesting how people can kind of abuse that concept and demand that just because they have accepted themselves for who they are, that therefore they don't need to improve upon that. It's, and, you know, and then demanding upon everybody else that you have to accept them for who they are, warts and all. Um, you know, it doesn't, life doesn't work that way. But having a degree of self-acceptance self is necessary in order to move on. Um, and so that's a lesson I have been learning. You know, I'm, I'm not getting into the details just because of time and uh, it may cause firestorm and stuff. But um, 
the I guess the point I'm trying to say is you know I it takes a long time to recover from the trauma of high school and I think a lot of you guys may may understand that especially if you're already graduated from high school um, you know I was called names it wasn't you know the best time I, I think I've said that already hey it's late what do you expect so the uh, I guess the point is, um, it's time for commercial break. That's the point. <laughs> Let me gather my thoughts, and then we'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I have uh, I think I figured out what I want to say. So, as I was trying to say and not quite succeeding... There, we, oh, down one. One, two, three... Four, five. Yes. Okay. So. What was I saying? There I go again. Okay. So, um, the point is... It takes a lot of time to, um, kind of recover from what you go through in high school. I mean, it takes people different amounts of time. I, I understand that. But it took me, you know, basically until a couple years ago to, to kind of start come out of that that kind of self-imposed self-protective and and you know entirely necessary at the time but it was it was a self-imposed exile and eh, let's not do that yet let's finish this up this all circles back to youtube and why i want to do it and, and this is where I get to kind of do the application and the moral of the story and all that stuff. And, and what it comes down to is... Um, I didn't always have this reasoning. Um, a lot of my reasoning for the, for the past year, I guess, was more out of that self-preservation instinct that I was operating on. Um at the time, you know, uh, the one where that I've had since, you know, junior high, uh, middle school, I guess you would call it. And, oh, I don't want to do that. I want regular, 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 regular. Okay. Let's just put it this way. I have come to the conclusion over the uh, past few months that... A finance, a, you know, if this thing blows up to be kind of a, you know, financial security thing that I can actually make a living off of, which, you know, it's entirely a hobby at this point, but clearly the goal is to um, make your hobby full time if you can do it, at, you know, if at all possible. I mean, that's working for yourself and doing your own job and that, like that, is... Uh, dream come true for a lot of people and if i could do that that would be awesome but it's what i've come to the conclusion over the past few months is that would not be quite enough hmm big stone wall we may fill this with dirt later on okay so i got to thinking Look at where I've come from. A lot of people on YouTube are in the exact same spot. A lot of people watch videos, Minecraft videos in the Minecraft community. They were bullied in high school too. Some of them are getting bullied in high school. Some of them are getting bullied even earlier. Um, can I do something to help that? And so I think what I want my channel to be from now on is a place that at the very least, people who, who are being bullied, who uh, are having trouble finding a place 
you know, where they can come and just be themselves. That's what I was missing in high school. I didn't have that place. I had to create it by myself in my own mind. And, uh, that entails withdrawing from, from the world. And you don't need to do that. Um, and if I can help that with somebody else in some way, and especially help them prevent, you know, from having to go through all this self-realization stuff for years and years after high school, kind of like, you know, what I had to do, then, you know, if I can do that making stupid YouTube videos, that's what I want to do. You know, if I can take your mind off of troubles, if I can help in some way, I think that's, that's kind of, kind of what I want to end up doing. And so, I've got, uh, I read a book about branding, and, uh, it's called Platform, and it's a book by Michael Hyatt, and I was trying to, uh, kind of, a. I'm, I'm looking up something here, which is why I'm not moving around. Um, where is it? Okay, I'm back. So, uh, the book kind of created this catalyst. It, it kind of led to all of this. And it was more about branding. It was, you know, the conversation we've been having on the SW City server is... Uh, how do we make uh, SW City more recognizable, get more subscribers, that kind of thing? Well, quick drink. It kind of rubbed off, and I started asking that about my own personal channel. And so that's this is this is the conclusion I've come to. Is this is my my new mission statement for the channel? And the channel is going to be a place of adventure and discovery filled with a love of books, fun and games, the arts, and uplifting conversation. But most of all, it's going to be a place where kids of all ages can just be kids. And that's from grade school on up to high school and college and beyond. Because a lot of us are still kids on the inside. And so that's what I want my channel to do and what I want it to be about. And uh, that's really the goal here. All right. So I just need to fill this in. And I need to get a bucket of water. Okay. So to that end... And you guys are going to kill me, because I just went through this. To that end, I need buckets. Which I do not have. For whatever reason. There's my buckets. Okay. So, I've been thinking. How do I get the word out? Um, how do I brand my channel in such a way that it becomes about this? And the issue I'm running into is, is, is a fear, and I'm not sure if it's founded. And I'm relying on you guys to help me figure this out this weekend, preferably. Um, but chime in in the comments, even so, even if the, week, even if the release weekend has passed, because I could still use any feedback necessary. And that's, um, is my name, my, my username, SW Chris, memorable enough? Is that, uh, is it something that, um, I can create a YouTube brand around? You know, I'm not sure. I mean, there, there's, a, a million people named Chris. And... Does that, does SW Chris, is that, is the initials in front of it, the, the unnamed acronym, I'm not telling you what SW stands for, does that, is that enough to offset it in your mind as a unique username, or do I need to pick something else? 
do I need to create a new channel again? And this time I'm going to make it worth your while, guys, if I actually end up doing this. Um, you know, we will uh, we'll do Steam giveaways uh, for the new subscribers to the new channel if it ends up this way. Oh, that's going to be an issue. Okay. Um, and so... How does this work? Hmm. I've got a few options. I can call myself Citrus Chris, which is kind of based off an old in-joke. I can call myself the Mango Man. This is also based off an old in-joke. Or, and this is the one I'm currently leaning towards. Um, uh, a, uh, it's basically called Digital Lemon. And the reason is, I already have a tagline figured out. And this is back when I was considering Citrus Chris for the most part. Um, gaming in life with a lemony fresh scent. Yeah, that's right. Or lemony fresh squeeze, one of the two. So, this is uh, going to be me because I tend to wax philosophical. There's going to be more episodes like this, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, you know, just, uh, that's the question I have is, does my username need to be different? Does it need to stand out more? And I think Digital Lemon will do that. Um, I'll still keep the same avatar, but it'll probably have a big lemon printed on the chest. If that's what I end up doing. Boy, I need, uh, I'm going to need lamps. Crap. Okay. I guess we'll have to get lamps. All right, so uh, let me know what you think about that, especially about creating yet another channel. Trust me, if I do it again, it'll be the last time. I don't want to be one of those people that starts over every three months. That's just ridiculous. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. Where did I put... Oh, I banked it all. <laughs> Alright. So that's going to be it for now. Uh, my mind is shot. It is now about midnight. And so I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I was going to... Oh, let me do this really quick. I got, I got a few minutes left. I can do this. Right? Um, where is it? There it is. Okay. Alright. So just like that... And like this. So. I may make this an ice skating rink. Mm. Damn you, dinner bone. All right. All right. Well, uh, that's going to be it for me. Um, if you... If this episode really resonated with you, especially with what I'm trying to make my channel about, uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also do me a quick favor and click the gear next to the subscribe button and check the little box to email you all of the uh, video uploads. Uh, the reason being is because YouTube ha believes that uh, you don't want to watch all the videos from the channels that you subscribe to. Um, and it wants to pick for you which videos to show you in your sub box. And that ain't changing, folks. Google has turned into Facebook. So, uh, that's it for me. Also, hit the like button. That helps a lot as well. And we will see you on the flip side. So, arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Goodbye. Leroy. Which way are we going? Are we going? Which way are we going? Are we going left or right? I say we go uh, left. Alright, go left. You guys are terrible. I guess I get the top. Go what are you guys back. doing? Hey <laughs> <laughs> guys, we're trying to go. Right. We're we'll gonna like, freaking dig our way up. Oh yes, it's also way. worth mentioning. Worth mentioning, we have not played 1.2 yet. This Three. is all oh. our uh, first reaction, so uh, everything is new to us. Yep. <laughs> Giant tree here. Crap. Go down. This is the thing I found here. Uh, we are going to the pit. 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 We are going to
Manny? What do you think? <laughs> What's going on over there? What's wrong, Manny? Nobody really knows. The madhouse already, Jesus! Battlefry, I just killed like ten. It's the resource wars. Yeah. A cup, a cup, a ah, and ah. I'll take that. Nope. 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 We have any uh, slime so we can make some torches. <clears throat> God damn it! Dude, that's what we should. I guess we should just cap the slimes. Oh. We want to find a uh, nice place to settle, so I guess we just keep going left. Yeah, let's just keep rolling. Help! I can't see anything. <laughs> oh crap! Uh, we need a uh, workbench. Torches. I have no, no idea how to craft make... in this game. Just you can make a chair. Oh. Josh has the torches. Lead the way, Josh. <laughs> Here we go. I have a couple, anyways. Yeah.